the issue. Even if you did sit here and tell me and said, Tom, I think white people are an inferior race. I think white people are nothing but a race of cavemen. And if you would say that, my argument would, to you would be, even if that's all we were, even if we were nothing but a race of cavemen, even if we spoke in only grunts, even if we just ran through the jungle with clubs in our hand, we still have a right to preserve our heritage and culture and give that to our children. Nobody has a right to deny that from us. And that is the attempt that's being done today. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Uh, Roy, uh, do you know what the, really the beginnings of the cross burnings, the origin of, of it is here in this country? Cross lines, it's called. Uh, I mean, what are those things on your neck? I just, they're uh, tattoos. Oh, John, get a tighter shot of uh, okay. uh, oh, Roy's this. neck there. Right? Can, can you that. see that? Can you put it in the monitor, Jimbo, to the audience here. Right. Oh, so you, you're a former skinhead then? <laughs> yeah. A skinhead who's now gone soft, so you're a kkk or now. What do you mean by soft, though? What say? What do you mean by soft? Oh, I'd say it's an English accent there. Yes. You hail from uh, yeah. Great Britain. Were you a skinhead uh, over there? Yeah, for 12 years. Uh, do you hate black people, Roy? No. Do you ever beat one up? No. So why did you join the skinheads? Um, when, it f when I first became a skinhead, it was like the in thing to do is like fashion. But I just took it from there. And then when did you decide to become a member of the Ku Klux Klan? Uh, I joined two years ago to a different organization. Uh, just recently, I've changed over to the Knights. Is that part of what brought you and Autumn together, your shared belief in the um, racial separation? Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. How yeah. did you, Autumn, how did you, just give, give us the love story. I'd like to know the love story here. <laughs> we worked to each other for about a year. Um, then I flew over and... How'd you sign the letters? <laughs> Would you sign the letters? Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. That's how I signed them. <laughs> you didn't sign them like with a flaming cross or anything like that? No, not at all. And Autumn, what was it about Roy that really yeah. caught your eye? Just some of the things he does. Like what? Like, what? <laughs> like that. <laughs> like his little laugh. Oh, his little laugh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Did he have those tattoos when you first met him? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Do you ever buy him a turtleneck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they don't suit me. You know, uh, the history of the KKK, let, let's, let's say that uh, David Duke and, and now Tom are, are correct, and you people uh, have gone uh, relatively mainstream. Uh, and, and, and that's more alarming to many, many people than, uh, than the old uh, KKK that uh, called itself what it really was. Uh, do you really want your child to be involved in an organization that perpetrates uh, racial stereotypes, that advocates separation of peoples, that uh, has as a central component a kind of a, of a, of a hatred, a detesting... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, oh no, no. Thomas, let me finish. Wait, you're, you're I'm talking to Autumn now. <laughs> I, th that's, that's the way I see it. How, how, I mean, do you want well, the I baby raised that, that way? way? I see the KKK as an organization that loves its people. I don't see it the way that you see it. How in the world did you come to the KKK? I love my race and I love my but people. But where'd you get this idea that other people didn't love your race? That doesn't matter. It matters that I care about my race and that's why I'm here. I mean, what kind of background did you have? Did you grow up in, you know, in a rural place, in a city? Uh, do you have a bad experience with a black person or a Puerto Rican person or a Jewish person? Or? Not at all. I grew up in... Uh, you were just combing uh, your hair one day and said, I like my skin color, and now I'm going to join an organization that promotes... Oh, I was people. always brought up to be proud, and I am proud, and that's why I'm here, and... <clears throat> and when you, when, you bring, uh, when you bring the baby... Uh, Remind me of the baby's name again, Char Charity? Ashley. Ashley, Ashley. What's a nice Charity. English name? When you bring Ashley to these events, uh, do you picture her someday walking around in sheets and a cone head? Not necessarily. I mean, is that the world that you want for Ashley? I want what she wants for herself. But is she going to be able to make a free decision beginning at the tender age she is attending these kinds of rallies. We heard from Nathan already that he started when he was a little tyke. He can't even remember when. Well, do you think he's an evil person, though? 
I didn't say evil. I, well, I think you're, you're, that he you're, certainly you're has. Implying I'm, that, all I'm saying is Nathan didn't have a free choice. You're implying this child. You're implying. You're implying this child's mind is going to be distorted because it's love his people. Why don't you want that child and that child to love its race? You know, Thomas, why don't I want those people to be part of an anti-social organization with a long tradition of hatred and violence? I, because I care for my country. I am a compassionate man. I care for children. Now, that, that was very political, but you didn't answer the question. Why don't you want to be proud of their race? Thomas, I believe that people should be proud of themselves. They should have self-respect. They should Absolutely. have self-esteem. I think every per I think this woman should be proud of her heritage. That woman, that young man there. I think I think anybody who's Asian should be proud of their heritage. I have no problem with that. But why is it that this child is somehow denied the right to say, I want to belong to a group that's proud of my heritage, that is going to reflect upon my culture and, and my people? Why is that something? And so you take them evil? to a cross burning to achieve that. We, it's not cross burning, it's a cross lighting. It's a cross, it's a cross, it's a cross lighting. A cross but lighting. no, we don't take them to achieve that. A cross lighting. Autumn did not have to go to a cross wait, Autumn did not have to go wait, to a cross lighting to achieve that. You know, it's great to love your race. It's love great to love everybody. However, there is such a thing as respect. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay? Now agree. we respect others. Don't applaud unless you hear the rest of what I, I want to respect. But see, you don't want that child to respect his heritage. So well up right now. You know, the good book says somewhere, respect your neighbor, honor thy neighbor as you do thyself. It doesn't say honor thy neighbor only if I am white. I agree. Honor thy neighbor means black, red, green, and all God's people. Right. And you. I better sit down before I'm sorry. Let's take a break. Everybody cool down. We'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> the KKK today, kids, cookouts, and cross burning. That's the focus of this edition of Geraldo. Hi. My question is for Tom, or any of you really, but We've always called it cross burning, and you're saying it's cross lighting. Yeah. Are you a Christian? And yeah. if so, why are you lighting the cross? Well, it's a light, lighted cross representing the cross of Christ. In fact, the Methodist Church still use a lighted cross. If you notice their symbol, it's a cross with fire at the, at the base. The lighted cross is a very ancient Christian symbol. D don't you remember when? Uh this group was putting lighted crosses on the front yards of black people who moved uh, into yeah. white neighborhoods. Why are you doing that? Why, well, what, me, what about when the Mormons uh, massacred some of our people in Arkansas? You don't do oh, wait, that wait, anymore? Hold, hold are you no, saying, listen, listen. Are you saying no, you don't wait. do that anymore? Why do, you, why do you cover your heads? If you're proud here, of yourself, here. why do you, you wear this covered? outfit? You see my head covered? No, but when you have your little and I don't do rallies, that. you don't do that anymore? We, we do only for a cross lighting. And we don't cover our and faces. And why do you do it for cross lighting? It's part of tradition. Why does a judge wear a black robe? <laughs> oh, Tom, you're a slick one. <laughs> yes, how you doing? I'd like to direct my question to the two people on the end. Okay. Why is it that you have, why is it that you have to belong to a group to have identity and to believe in yourself? I'm a black person and I don't belong to the Black Panthers, nor do I belong to any group, but I know who I am and I'm proud of it. <laughs> oh, wait a Michael. Why do you feel, Michael, you have to belong to any group? I don't feel I have to belong to any group. Uh, but it's my right to belong to any group I choose sure. to, and sure. it's any American's right. We have many groups promoting... Oh, Thomas, will you let someone else talk? Uh, <laughs> Autumn? We have many groups promoting the interests of minorities. Name That's one it. group other than the Klan that promotes the interests of white people. Yeah, the uh, neo-Nazis or whatever they are. The, uh, <laughs> what are you guys? The Church of the uh, Creation, the right. Creator. That's their right, that's their right. Now, Eric, what ha did someone drop you on your head when you were a baby, what happened to you? <laughs> Come on, don't be so serious. Why did you ask me that? Why did you join this group? What, what, well, what sparked uh, you? Wait, he's not a member of our group. Okay, no, no, he's no, the okay, Church of the, right. we, well, we, we are, clearly we are, identify. We are a Christian organization. Yes, we are, and he's an anti-Christian anti organization. Anti-Christian organization, right. okay. Right. The reason I joined the Church of the Creator, we believe that the white race is going through its most turbulent right, I mean, time in its history. How old were you when you joined? It was just a couple years ago. So how old are you I now? Was, I'm 22. 
22. So you were 20, 19? 19, 20. Okay. I, I don't know how the, uh, I don't put it on my calendar uh -huh. or anything. Uh, and the white race right now is going through its most turbulent period in its history. There is not one country, not one piece of land that you can say exists on this entire planet that is a solely whites-only country. Yet there are over 24 all-black nations on this planet. There are many different lands where every people has a right to self-affirmation. Yet you cannot tell me of a country that exists that So rights, what do you suggest? The be... annihilation of non-whites? I'm not suggesting that. All I'm saying is... But you wouldn't is... mind it, though. No, I'm not even saying that I wouldn't mind it. I'm not advocating it at all. Right, what there's I'm saying like too is... many of them? They fill up all the ovens not, and stuff? Well, they're they not our concern. They can take care of themselves. They're not our concern. So where can they go to do that? What we want to do is we want to get white people back to thinking about themselves. We want to have an organization that can say, the white race right now is 7% of the world's population. Last year, 2% of the babies born were white. Now, do we not have a reason to be concerned when we're outnumbered over 14 to 1 do in the world? Do you personally have a reason to be concerned? I mean, is someone well, like trying to move into I'm your house? I'm going to bring house, children or? into this world. I have a fiance. I'm going to be bringing children into this world. She was supposed to be on the show, wasn't she? Well, no. she's not here, is she? Well, I, she was in the green room. Why? Why didn't well, she want to come on? Was she embarrassed by you? No, no, she's not at all. I've been with her for five years, and it has nothing to do with well, anything. Well, good, good luck in your relationship. All right. <laughs> Let me just ask uh, Jason here. Why? Why? You remember like of the youth core of the KKK? S Seventeen and to about thirteen. And so it's like the Cub Scouts before the Boy Scouts. Mm, yeah. Uh, do you look forward to the time when you turn 18 and you can be a full-fledged member? Yes, I do. Why? Because uh, it's the only organization that stands for white, for white people. I mean, the blacks have N.W. Well, you have the Church of the Creator, you have the skinheads, you have neo-Nazis. I'm talking about a Christian group. And that there's NWACP for minorities. Don't you think, don't you think that blacks can be Christian also? I that's not the issue. Okay, let your son answer. He can answer that question. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Are they less Christian than you? It doesn't matter. I'm talking about white people should have their rights. Okay, blacks should have theirs. Orientals should have theirs. And that's, I mean, that's the fact. But why do you use Christian? What does that have to do with it? It would seem to me that, you know, Jesus Christ, as I, as I remember the teachings of the New Testament, was uh, for brotherly love. He was for the embracing of everybody, for compassion. Yeah, but rainbow when they're all mixed together. <laughs> Jesus never said that. Huh? Jesus never said that. Each of us separate, blacks, whites, orientals. Earlier this guy said that he didn't want to take off his hat because a haircut didn't matter. Well, why should someone's skin color matter? This is America, and everyone I should be agree. together, not segregated. I agree with you, lady. I agree. So why is it that our children can't be proud of their be heritage? proud of our heritage. You know, if you black, white, red, whatever, be proud of your heritage. Right. Be proud of what your forefathers have That's built right. for you. That's right. So that basically means that, so that basically means that if she, because she doesn't believe in the KKK, that means she's a sellout? No, does that, that's, does that's that... your own choice. If she wants to be your friend, that's great. If I want to be segregated and hang out with my white friends, then they call me a racist. Uh, yeah. But I'm not a racist. I'm understand. proud of my culture. I don't understand what he was talking about where he says that the white people only own seven or rule 7% of the world. No, no, that's what's... our population. Yeah, okay. But what's population. the difference? I mean, America's where everybody wants to live because we... We have that's these right. opportunities. The white, the white people control the vast for 60 years. They did not as long as you hear the facts for the first time here. Yeah, why do you burn the cross? I, I, I tell you, let me take a commercial, then you can talk. Oh. All right. A message of woe. Some say it's the only recession-proof profession. It is certainly the oldest. Recession prostitutes on the next to Robert. The producer of this segment, today's installment of the Haroldo program, Bill Lancaster, has been tracking the activities of the new clan, their day activities and their night activities. Here is our report. Take a look. Planning for a Ku Klux Klan rally is hard work. Step number one is laying out the souvenirs. That usually takes place about an hour before the rally. Step number two involves brainwashing the children. That often begins during infancy. 
I work with black people. As far as that goes, I get along with them fine. But I don't want them in my house around my kids, and I don't want my kids going to school with them. Founded shortly after the Civil War, the KKK reached its peak in the 1920s, when membership almost reached 6 million. Today, the Klan is a shadow of its former self. Its membership is shrunken, and it's splintered into more than 50 factions. Some of them are bitter rivals. A typical Klan gathering will draw a few dozen people, although some well-organized events can reach into the hundreds. Despite dwindling membership, Klansmen still hold civil and elected positions. We have all walks of life who have joined the Klan. We have police officers, we have a few elected officials, we have doctors, we have a, a young student at the Rice University, which is a liberal. He's becoming a doctor, he's a member of the Klan, and we have great hopes for him because he has an education. Apparently, the family that hates together stays together. Kids are never too young to be taught the evil ways of the Klan. At a recent KKK rally held in upscale Boca Raton, Florida, Klan kids took center stage. The Klan is not alone in its hate war. It has a loose alliance with some of the 65 neo-Nazi and white supremacist organizations in the United States. We visited the Church of Creativity, a white supremacist organization based in Otto, North Carolina. Its leader, Ben Klassen, shared his thoughts on Adolf Hitler. We think that he's the greatest white leader that ever lived and uh, the greatest white man that we've ever had. We teach, teach them how to survive, uh, how to use their weapons, um, things that they might need for a future scenario, scenario which is inevitably going to come. This country is a racial time bomb. Recently, the Klan and the National Socialist White Workers Party joined forces in southern Florida. Supremacists and the KKK sincerely believe white America is buying their message. Their hero is David Duke of Louisiana. People are working in this campaign who are Klansmen in different parts of Louisiana. But see, it's not just confined to the state of Louisiana. Other states are sending in people to help him out. Bolstered by Duke's popularity and America's swing to the right, the Klan appears reinvigorated to carry its agenda into the 21st century. Oh, we're doing it. Bud, why don't you give this guy a Sig Heil? Say it, dude. Say it, bud. Sig Heil. No, like you mean it. I know what you mean. Sig Heil. That doesn't sound like you mean it to me. I'm starting to go. Up, 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 Keep going. Up, in the hole. Up, up. Okay, um, that is, uh, you know, we believe a very accurate uh, report on the no, state no, no, of no, no, things. No, no. I'm, I'm not going to sit you. Let have me. You... Uh, what are you thinking? Here's a here's an average. Hold on, shush. Listen, you take groups. Oh, shush. You take groups that don't even exist. I'm very average from Akron, Ohio, Midwest. I'm very average from Detroit, Michigan. I've got to tell you, I am absolutely sick at heart. I've lived all these years. I'm 66 years old, and I'm seeing after the 60s and after civil rights, I now see this kind of thing still going on. I'm literally sick at heart. All you people have preached is love, love, love. That's not love, that's hate. I don't know who if you are so filled with love, if you are so filled with love, why don't you join one of the organized churches? I don't care which kind of the organized churches. Listen. If you're so filled with love, join one of them. Uh, now, don't if, if, Baptist if, if Geraldo will let me answer that question now. 
See, that's the very reason why that piece is aired, because he picks up some obscure groups that oh, hardly even exist. On. I don't know who these people, come listen, on. I don't know who these people are. Come he picks up an obscure group why didn't, and why don't, them associated with us. Why don't you join because an established you know that, church? You know that our message is self. And the people will write to us at Harrison, Arkansas, is all the address they need. We'll get hundreds of letters from people because our message will sell. You get some obscure group up here and say obscure, irresponsible we'll right thing. Donna Holmes and Elaine Lamb are both members of the Congress of Racial Equality Corps. I wonder, uh, ladies, uh, if the new, more benign face of the KKK doesn't scare you more than the old, uh, yes, it uh, does. Uh, obvious racist, you know, etc. I, I think what's very, very important, we watching the course burnings we're doing the regular dialogue that we've had for years and years and years what is very very important is that the public know that what you have up here now i have been on panels with the kkk i have been to very excuse me you spoke you dare excuse me excuse me, excuse me. can you let me finish let me finish, and I'm going. I'm not going to lower myself down to your standards because once I do that, I allow you to Get win. So Get just okay. It's very, very important to see what you have up here is a very quiet, subdued panel of KKK, and they seem they're giving the impression that they have cleaned up their act, only prompted because David Dukes is running for a public no. office. No My organization, excuse me, can I finish? You can finish My you organization going to do is going to do everything possible in its power to see that people understand and realize what it is you're doing. You're misleading the public. Now you've cleaned up your act. Leopards do not change their stripes overnight. Okay? They don't do it. And, and it's misleading and it's not going to work. Okay, you're sitting up here, and the fact that you all are not yelling and raising your voice and, and getting all upset, all of that is nice. We know what's underneath. And the fact, the fact that, that I, I also want to just say one quick thing to the registered voters in Louisiana. Those of you who are maybe voting for the first time and you're not sure what you're doing, do not put this man in office. Do not vote for him, okay? The more power they have, he's going to become governor, and he's going to pardon somebody for killing somebody oh, over a right. racist. Get your yes, nose he out of is. Okay, books. okay, no, Nathan. 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 She's been sitting down there saying she's proud of her race, proud of this, proud of. No one is and stopping is... you from being proud of your then race. Then why are you here? No one. At... Let me tell you something. You okay, all sat up me. here before and talked about how all of Not, your beliefs no, come from the Bible. That was another. No, group. This is the first time we've been here. We're the largest clan organization in the country. We're mm -hmm. reaching people, and the masses of people and are turning to... you're talking about they being segregated. To, they don't... No listen, one... now you, you wanted me to... You, you ahead, want us to let you go talk. Ahead, go ahead. There are many groups in the country who espouse certain beliefs. There are mm -hmm. many churches who call themselves Christians. you got the Catholics and Protestants, and the Baptists, and so on. They disagree. There are other clan groups in the country who have their own political agenda. They're very small, and they're splinter groups. We are a national clan organization. We have widespread appeal among the American people, mm -hmm. and we're growing every day, well, and they write us to our address reasons, in Harrison, but for all the wrong reasons. And that's why reasons. you believe that's David Duke is going to win tomorrow? About separateness and segregation. Actually, tomorrow, you are the November ones who came over that's and bought us over tomorrow. here hundreds no, of years ago. We didn't ask to come uh, here. Let me ask you guys. Uh, we just saw the Church of the Creator. You said that you were you espoused nonviolence. We just isn't that your outfit? Well, you only you showed uh, two segments. But isn't our... that your outfit? The, well, I have to qualify I what I'm what I'm saying yes to, Mr. Rivera. Isn't Kasten your leader? Clausen. It's, it's, it's Pontifex Maximus Ben Clausen. Yeah. You but show the, the church wait, of the uh, creator. Uh, okay. Jeez, you and never you had one, And you had one other... All right. Carl Hess. Excuse me. Carl Hess. Don't you, uh, as he, uh, your Pontifex Maximus, whatever you call him, believe that Adolf Hitler was a great guy? I have no beliefs on Hitler. Oh. Well, oh. although I brought a present for you from the realm of Colorado. All right. All right. We thought you'd add it to your collection of T-shirts. This is for Geraldo Dantu's collection. <laughs> you can get it out of Arkansas. There you go, buddy. Yeah, I'll get you guys. There you go. All right. you, someone here want to say something? Yes, sir. I don't, I don't understand why you even dignified this uh, audience. Uh, uh, dignify them uh, by putting them on it. By all. putting them on it all. Ah, but you gotta, They're terrible. The only way you get They're roaches hateful. to run. Oh, is one to minute the more. They love oh, the, on. they love the white come race, on, but on. we're white too. But we're Jewish, and you don't like us at all. 
Yes. You got a lot of hate. You got, I would, you got a lot of hate. I would lady. just like to ask. We're going to work with your problem. All right. What what is what is the the Ku Klux Klan's new position on affirmative action, and Martin Luther we King Day? We people should be hired in this country according to the ability, yes. not because of the color of their skin. What about Martin Luther King Day? We feel sorry for them. And a lot of people feel that way, and they're going to write to us at Post Office Box 22, they keep talking 22, about 22 heritage. Harris in Arkansas. gave your address six times. I'll give they six keep more talking times about heritage. Time. Not one of them has talked about what is their heritage. White is not a heritage. No, not. White is a skin color. <laughs> My skin is yeah, white, but I'm be. proud to say no. that I'm a Jew because Judaism is my heritage. Where are you people from? None of you are Native Americans. What is your I'm heritage? I was born in America. Isn't that yes. so American? Listen, that's not, lady, ma'am, that's not the issue. I would like to know why you're making I'm such an issue. I would like to know why you're making such an issue of race. We all belong to the human race. Why do you want to segregate us? If this isn't really what you're about, what the public perception of the Ku Klux Klan is not about love and what you're saying, then why didn't you start another group? Why do you stay with the Ku Klux Klan if you're not going I, I, I didn't hear philosophy? the first part of the question. So. I, the, okay. the question is, if you really are nice people, Thomas, uh -huh. why don't you just... <laughs> why don't you take the sheets out, burn them, and start a whole new group? The Nice Guys of Harrison, Arkansas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer your question. Listen, listen. Hurry, I gotta take commercial. Hurry. Okay, there's many organizations in this country that are working for the interests of, of certain people, like blacks, Asians, and so on. There's no organization. There's 50 for, KKK groups. You just said that. We're the national. We're a national. I know you're the biggest. You're the best. Yeah. Yeah, we're the biggest. <laughs> we're the best. We're the right to us at our address. I gotta take a break. KKK today, kids, cookouts, cross burnings. Yes. To the panelists, okay. and not to you, Thomas, we've got to let someone else speak. <laughs> to the panelists, this is America. White people came from Europe, took the Indians' land. You went to Africa. You brought Africans from Africa. You brought them here as slaves. Now you're talking about the preservation of the white race. Why don't you go back to Europe? <laughs> all right, I, I don't think that, that, that... All this rhetoric, I don't, I don't like it. You know? Let's just talk about... What do you want to know about these people? Ask them. I want to ask uh, if David Duke gets elected governor of uh, Louisiana, is he going to take up for the white race? Is he just going to represent the white race? Or is he going to rep represent all the races that are in Louisiana? I'm not privy to David Duke's information. Right. He's so just his, his successor. He's not his uh, political Duke partner. Yes, ma'am. I think it's frightening that these people try to have a, a, a cloak of decency, and when the Ku Klux Klan is known for hate and bigotry, and they're just coming here as a PR and make themselves great, they're horrid, and we should be aware of it. All right, now, hold it, hold it. Let me go to uh, Diane and Michael, okay? All right. This lady sitting up here a while ago said something about changing our name. Well. If this group of people over here didn't like you just because of your name, would you change it to please them? You mean the name of my organization? I don't belong to any organization. I'm a member of the Young just Republican to please Party. Yeah. A group of people. <laughs> Diane, why do you why are you a member of this uh, this group? Why? It was my choice, and I wanted to. All right, tell me a little bit more about your choice and why you wanted to. Why not? Yes, so, shh, give her a chance. <laughs> tell me, come on, Diane, tell me. Try and, try and, try and articulate the motivation to join the KKK. The way I've seen the world change in the last 30 years. What did you see? Was there an incident that upset you? Was there one thing or, you know? It was all kind of things that's happened. Right. No and, prayers in schools. But, but why, the, if there's no prayers in schools, and that's what, the fellow from Akron, could you stand again? If you had yeah, a what he said about joining a mainstream, or any kind of church that espoused compassion and, and really the beliefs of Jesus Christ, wouldn't that give you a feeling of bring, or, or bring, put your child in a parochial school if you want to pray? Mm -mm. Wouldn't, wouldn't that work for you? Wouldn't work for you? Yeah. Don't you agree that we're all Americans here? Doesn't everybody agree to that? Yeah. Well, I, I, there are some people here from Canada as well. Well, basically all Americans. And some, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, but why not? I'm, I want to stick with this guy. And I know it's tough for you, but just try and, try and grapple with it. I don't believe in race mixing, and I don't believe in homosexuality. And the preachers and, and things, they're coming to the school and teaching it as an alternative lifestyle. They won't let you pray in church, but, you know, they can teach you how to... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, you know what I'm talking about. 
So, so you're not a member of a of a real of a of a church because you believe the church is corrupt? Is that is that why? Do you believe, do you believe Most that churches? Most of them that I have tended to are. Shh, shh. The Say, ones that I have attended to, yes. They are corrupt. Most of them. Most of them. Well, preachers, look at them. It's the biggest business you can the name world. them. Okay, we'll take a break. Thank you. Speak up, America. We want to hear your comments and show ideas. Give us a call at 1 900 Speak Up. Let us know what you're thinking. We'll record your message to play in a future broadcast. We may even call you to be a guest on a show. So call 1-900-SPEAK-UP. Don't forget, the call costs $1. We'll be right back. The KKK today, kids, cookouts, cross burnings. All right, let me, let me go back to my pal, Chrissy. Now, how old are you now? Nine. You're nine years old. So are you a member of any group right now? No. So how old do you have to be to be a member? 18 to be in the rural clan and 12 to be in the youth corps. So you have three more years then. Do you look forward to the time you're 12 years old? Yes. You tell me why. Why do you look forward? What, what's going to happen when you're 12? You're going to join that youth corps? Are you happy about that? You can't wait? <laughs> do you already have your sheet picked out? <laughs> But you, will you, you wear it and you'll be proud when you got it on? Yes. Toronto, they're not sheets. They're satin robes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> satin robes. <laughs> but you can use them for sheets, the satin uh, robes. You can, that's another show. Uh, Rachel, uh, Mom, mm -hmm. we saw you a little bit. What, what are your uh, feelings about your own personal future? Is this going to bring you happiness? This show? No, I, I, <laughs> I'd be flattered if it did. But I mean, it, it, your, your affiliation with, uh, with this very, very controversial group. Will this bring you happiness? I'm happy. So I guess it has. <laughs> really? You feel that way? Okay, let me go, uh, let me go to old Roy here now. We haven't heard much from uh, our pal from the United Kingdom. Uh, are you like a naturalized citizen? Yes. Yeah. So you're not afraid of getting bounced out because of your membership? And the... They can bounce me out. I don't mind. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'd mind if they, if they did that. Well... Do, do you think that this is something that... How old are you now? I'm 24. 24. And so you were a skinhead. How old were you then? You, I was, when I first became a skinhead, I was 12. 12 years old. So basically, it's been your whole life. Yeah. Because when I turned a skinhead, you had the, like, the scar bands that are around. And, and so like, you, everyone was a skinhead. So you had to be. I'm, I'm almost out of time. <laughs> I, I just want to ask you, will this be something that you stick with your whole life then? What, the clan? Yes. The KKK now and forever? Yeah. Okay, we'll be right. As long as I live. Give me your ass sheet discount. Yeah, this is terrific. Canopy has been provided by Preferred Stock, the extra smooth cologne for an extra special man. A distinctive gift from the House of Stetson. Janelle Sculpture Gel Nails, the complete nail lengthening and strengthening kit for salon type nails. It's fast, easy, and mistake proof from Janelle. The clan today has been our focus. Kids, cookouts, cross burnings. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm starting a new business, a laundry business. I'll do your sheets, free starch. <laughs> Wherever you at, just mail me your sheets and I'll send them back to you. Starch the nine. Great deal, right? <laughs> we only have a minute left. Uh, Thomas, why don't you take 20 seconds? I'll, I'll give you a final statement. Throughout America, there are people who are looking for answers, are looking for a message of hope and deliverance. The Knights of the Ku Klux Klan has it. We have a message for white people. White people who are, have been brought down. White people are looking for hope. White people who have no longer been allowed to feel proud of their heritage and proud of their culture. Okay, that's it. Yes. <laughs> you people will never have much of a group. For one thing, you, you have no love for anybody. Not the whites, Here's not the blacks, no not the Jews. When you talk about loving whites, Jews are white. When you talk about hey, loving Catholic, hating Italian. Catholics, the most of the Catholics are the white. Huh? Who do you love? The Talmud. Uh, Diane, you want to say it? Elaine or Diane, final statement, quick? Okay. I think that they're just paranoid because as the years go down and down and down, 
people of the world, you were always looked at as the majority, Absolutely. but you've always been the we minority. We are the minority because now. if you Say take it. the whole the population of the Tell world, you are the person of color. The white man is the minority. And your parents are the minority. But your parents are the I need an aspirin. Why are you so scared of becoming extinct? All right, all right, all right. You are not involved in this. I promise. You are the light is you are. You are. My theory on doing these shows is that light is the way to enlightenment. It's the way to bring knowledge.